Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Today we will be looking at sampling methods. This is part of market research and there are various types of sampling methods that you can see on the screen, random, stratified and quota sampling, which we'll be talking about in today's lesson. Now we start off with what is a sample, all right? So a sample is basically um, a group of people, all right, taking part in market research. And these people are basically representatives of the overall target market. So this is quite hard to understand if you've never done market research before, but basically before you can find out information or specifically for primary market research, right, where you're gathering information for the first time, you're using people to get that information. And for a business, Business to gather that information, they need to have people, all right, to be able to partake in the research process. Now, the sample is a representative of a, or a group of people that's representing the whole market that they are intending to reach out. That's what we call a sample. Now, why do we need to have a sample, right? Because it's impossible to gather everyone in this world, right, to partake in this market research, right, or the overall population in this country or in this, this world, right? So because of that, it's better, uh, easier to gather a small sample size, okay? And um, to gather a sample, there are methods to do that, to make sure that the people or types of people participating into the research, there is a variety that the company is looking for. Okay, and hence, uh, we will look at some of these sampling methods. Okay, the first method that we will look at is through random sampling. All right, basically, every member has uh, an equal chance of being selected. Right, and how is this so? Okay, imagine like if you are in a taking part in a lucky draw competition right um where everyone subscribes to it and of course based on picking numbers out of the bag so it's very random any one of them could get a uh, opportunity to win the first prize of that lucky draw right so uh in the market research as well similarly this is a system being used where all the information is gathered and you can use a computer to do this because the computer is able to also generate random numbers from the system where you will have different different people all right partaking in a particular market research now there are some limitations in doing this of course it's quite easy to gather information and just use the computer to gather to get the 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 uh, the, the people who will be partaking in the research um, there could be some limitations as well because sometimes the selection may be disproportionate where you don't have um, a, a, a equal variety of different different groups in, inside right and at the same time it could be there could be bias right in terms of determining um, you know what kind of uh, you know, uh, representative or what kind of criteria are we looking at in, in picking someone so randomly to do a market research, okay? So these are some of the limitations of conducting a random sampling research. Now, to overcome that, there is also another method called stratified research, okay? Now, in stratified research, it draws from a specific subgroup or segment of the market. All right, and then we use random sampling to select each stratum. So in other words, um, the business has an idea of a group of the whole list of people in, uh, you know, of, 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 the, of the market, at least uh, to a certain point, right? And they're able to break down the list into various segments, such as uh, income group, age, gender, right? Uh, age, gender, and so forth, right? These are type of a way that they can segment the information that they have and then of course they will use the internet or the computer to generate the numbers by random sampling so deciding on the group that they want to focus on and then using random sampling method may be a much more precise way I suppose if the market has an idea or the business has already an idea of the type of market that they want to approach Okay, now these two may have some limitations because you may exclude those who do not fit in the criteria and sometimes some valuable information may be lost. It could be related to the market that you're looking for, you know. So in that circumstances, there could be some limitations as well using stratified approach. Now, another method of gathering or sampling is through a quota sampling method. Now, once we have stratified the population and we know the sub 
uh, you know, income group, uh, age group, gender, and things like that. The interviewer then can now select an appropriate number of respondents from each stratum. So quota is, is based on looking at different segments that has already been stratified and taking a certain percentage from each of those levels into their research, right? So for example, the interviewer may select right the respondents uh, for the age group of 20 to 30 year olds, right? 20% of them, and that makes it more precise, so to speak. Yeah. Now, uh, let's look at the limitations. Okay, it may limit information once the quota is already re reached. It means you have 20%, which is about 300 people. That's it. That's all you have in gathering your information. And this could also still lead to some bias and assumptions based on how the selection of 20% is done, whether it's precise, whether it's enough and things like that. These could also lead to some bias of information. So there you go. You have covered what a sample means. Why do we need to sample? As well as the various sampling methods of random stratified quota, the examples of it, as well as the limitations. Now, to help you practice on your own, these are five questions for you to look at. To define sample, to define random sampling, to define stratified sampling, quota sampling, and also one limitation of stratified sampling. Try to attempt this on your own. And as usual, remember that the materials online, or at least for my videos, is to give you a quick snapshot of information. More reading would be required from your textbooks and materials that you have. This means that we have come to the end of today's lesson and it's as usual, please share, like and subscribe if you find this useful to you. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.